Welcome to Spectrum Inc. Productions' first production video blog. The purpose of these blogs is to show what goes on behind the scenes of our independent CGI production of The Last Rite, Shellington Heights. Our goal is to show those new to the industry how things in computer animation is done, as well as elicit feedback from industry veterans, not to mention generate interest in the project. We have a long production, so we will post a lot of these videos covering a lot of various topics as we move through the production. For our first developer's blog, we'll be laying out UVs for the first monster we see in the series. So here we are in ZBrush 4, the modeling program by Pixel Logic. The model was based on an original design by our friend Stephen Wells and was modeled for us by our friends at White Moon Dreams. We'll have links to these sites at the end of the video. We were really happy with how the model turned out artistically, but from a technical standpoint the topology had some issues. By topology, I mean the way the edges flow around the geometry. Stephen Wells has been kind enough to add additional support by polypainting this new model, but there's a problem. The model now has no UVs, which means that there's no way to get Stephen's work out of ZBrush and into Maya where it needs to be. So that's what we'll be working on tonight. I will be doing the UV work starting in Maya, so the first thing we need to do is to get the model into Maya. And before we do that, we need to take it down to its lowest subdivision by going to the Geometry tab and setting it all the way down to 1. Export OBJ, Maya, or I can simply click on the Go Z button, and the Go Z button will export the mesh and automatically load it into Maya. Um, first thing we want to do is get there we're going to have just the default Lambert on it so I want to give it another shader and as you can see we still don't have anything showing because uh, there's no UVs in the UV editor. If I s switch this to the UV texture panel there's just noth nothing there. So the texture won't display on the model. There's no information to tell it how to display in the model. Let's start by selecting these faces and I'm going to start with the head this time. Let's try cylindrical mapping and what I'm going to do is see if I can't go around this way. This is the smooth, smooth UV tool and you're going to have both unfold and relax as options here. And let's start by, and also a, a handy feature, let's turn shaded on. Now you can see the purple area is where we're going to have overlapping UVs. So if we try to relax that, that's just going to self-destruct, it's not going to help us. So we're going to unfold, and oh, how about that, that's almost like magic, I swear. If I hit the B key, I'm going to get the soft select going over here. So let's pull these around, and if I get back in here, you can see, you know, what I'm doing with the UVs. There is actually a tool already in here to snap it to the edge. If you come over here and hit this button here, I'll snap everything to the edge. I'm going to take the that off first and try it. I just will snap it to that edge, 
This will snap it to the other edge. If I hit that one. And we can also do the same thing with these top UVs by doing it. Um, snapping it there. Edge is selected, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select, convert selection to UVs. I'm going to scale this down, but I'm going to move on to the next area. Let's go ahead and, and do this body area because that body area should be pretty easy to do. UV edges. Now I should be able to use the move shell tool to slide things over. Let's go ahead and select the edges and unselect the everything else bit. And then what we can do is do a move and sew edge. Slide that back over. The other thing I want to do is I want to snap turn that around because I want that lining up with the head because I want to kind of check. There's our head if we bring that up there so we can see how that fits in. That would actually fit right about there. Hit B and then by holding B and dragging I can change the radius and I'm just going to drag this out a bit so it lines up there. Okay, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and planner map, uh, planner map that. edges. And 
And so now, as you can see with the with the dark purple, we have overlapping UVs and such, which is bad. So I'm gonna There's a there's a lattice tool. Actually, it's that right there. No, that's not. It. That's a lattice tool. So let's see if I can't. do now is we want that head to be in its own shell and then we will fit everything else as appropriate. So we're going to scale everything up. Okay, so I got this little script here that I pulled in from uh, Creative Crash and this will allow me to so I take all these UVs here, and then I can shift it to the right. I can shift them up and to the right. And so they will be in the exact UV space, except uh, just offset. And voila, our dog is UV mapped. All we need to do now is bring him back into ZBrush. And he's good to go. That concludes our first production blog. Links will be in the credits. And thank you very much. And stay tuned because there will be a lot more work to do and a lot more video blogs. Thank you very much.